Hello, Good Shepherd and St. Francis and John. I am Deacon Dallas Kelly from St. Francis and John. Well, time sure has flown. We are again entering into the solemn season of Advent as we anticipate the coming of our Lord. This week we prepare with the gospel message for the first Sunday of Advent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay. Perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves, people will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, Stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life. And that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth by vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent, and to stand before the Son of Man. In today's gospel, Jesus said there will be signs. As we light the first candle today, have you ever wondered what the signs and meanings are behind the Advent candles? Advent candles readily demonstrate the strong contrast between darkness and light, which is an important biblical image. Jesus referred to himself as the light of the world that dispels the darkness of sin. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Human history spanned long ages shrouded in the darkness of sin before our Savior would finally make his appearance to free us from its dominion. As the Messiah's advent draws near, another candle is lit, and with each candle dispelling the darkness a little more. Thus, the Advent wreath help us to spiritually contemplate the great drama of salvation history that surrounds the birth of God incarnate, who becomes to redeem the human race and make all things new. It also reminds us that as Christians, we're meant to shine the light of Christ in this world. As Jesus tells us, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Violet is a liturgical color that is used to signify a time of prayer, penance, sacrifice, and is used during Advent and Lent. Advent is also called Little Lent and is the season where we spiritually wait in our darkness with hopeful expectation for our promised redemption, just as the whole world did before Christ's birth, and just as the whole world does now as we eagerly await his promised return. During the first two weeks of Advent, we light the first two violet candles. The third Sunday of Advent is called Gadate, Rejoice Sunday. On this day, we celebrate that our waiting for the birth of Jesus on Christmas Day is almost over. Rose is a liturgical color that is used to signify joy. So we light the single rose candle on the third Sunday of Advent. Then on the fourth Sunday of Advent, the final violet candle is lit to mark the final week of prayer and penance as we wait expectantly for the soon coming birth of the King of the Jews. These four candles signify hope, faith, joy, and peace, which is what we all look forward to with the coming of our Lord. What can you do as a family to get ready for the coming of the Lord? Everyone in your family should answer the question, what do you like to do to get ready for Christmas? Discuss making cards, gifts, or special foods. Maybe decorating a Christmas tree. Talk about how the preparations can be exciting 
and help us anticipate the celebration of Jesus' birth? Is there a way that we can help others outside of our family grow in this anticipation? Prepare an Advent wreath. It can be as simple as arranging three violet candles and one rose candle on a platter. You could also place evergreen fronds around the candles. Light the same candle each night at dinner during the first week of Advent. Turn off the lights in the room and silently pray. Advent is so exciting in anticipation for the celebration of Jesus' birth. Pray that our faith will grow as we also prepare for the return of Jesus, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Let us pray. All-powerful God, increase our strength of will for doing good that Christ may find eager, welcoming at his coming and call us to his side in the kingdom of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. God bless and see you at Mass.